All right, hey everyone, and welcome back. Say hi, Bubby. There you go. He is uh, off just playing right now, and uh, well, we're here for another uh, video. Um, if you guys watched my video yesterday, you guys will kind of know what exactly I'm already planning for today. So, I had mentioned in a video yesterday that I was going to be starting a new uh, video segment. Um, they were directed at expecting mothers. But, I had thought long and hard about it, and I started doing research, and I started uh, posting in some of the parent groups I'm in and getting comments back and Bubby and I came to the conclusion that I'm not going to direct this at just mothers okay I'm going to direct this at anyone who's expecting so expecting parents so if you are a guy and you got some girl pregnant or fiance wife girlfriend whatever the hell whatever that whatever she is to you but it's your kid, um, or even not even your kid, maybe it's just your girlfriend and uh, you guys just got together after a terrible breakup, whatever the case is, okay, it's not my business, I don't really care, it's your guys' business, the point is, this is for anyone who's expecting or knows someone who is going to be expecting a baby, like they're currently pregnant. So, he is such a camera hog, <laughs> and he just laughs, he's so cute. So. I have not fully perfected how I'm going to be doing these videos, okay? So I, what I might do today might be completely different than what I do for like next week or the week after or even three, three months from now, okay? So my goal is to say the topic, then depending on what the topic is, I'll give a description of it or, or uh, um, like symptoms of it so you guys, because there's some things like as the pregnancy goes on along, you might not know what certain things are. And then I'll go into the actual what I researched and found out about it. So today I am doing morning sickness, mainly because of the fact is that that is the first key factor to being pregnant. So I have a lot of research on my tablet here, and uh, I will basically just read off some of the things I found and see what y'all y'all see. Cause like I said, I posted in some groups asking about, hey, what did y'all have to deal with when you guys were having morning sickness? What did you use? What did you use symptoms? Everything. So for those of you who don't know what morning sickness is, Bubby, Bubby, come here. He's trying to go to the door. There's a gate door over there and a, he's not supposed to go out. So stay close to me, Bubby, okay? You wanna say hi again? <laughs> Alright, so morning sickness. The definition is a common symptom for pregnancy. Okay, it's extremely common, okay? And is marked by nausea and occasionally vomiting. Now, the one thing they don't mention is that morning sickness isn't exactly morning sickness, okay? It can happen any time of the day, alright? So it can happen at night, it can happen in the afternoon, whichever, okay? It's not just specifically for morning. I don't know why they call it morning sickness then. Um, it, according to this, morning sickness usually happens within the first four months of pregnancy and is often the first sign that a, that a female is pregnant. Whew. But, uh, not, uh, morning sickness does not always just last for the first four months. With my first pregnancy, not, not with him, um, my first kid in 2010, I had morning sickness the entire pregnancy, the entire seven months. Get down! He's climbing walls. So yes, I had morning sickness the entire pregnancy. And it was terrible. It was horrible. What's wrong, baby? You kind of stick. He's got a stick. Anyways, like I said, morning sickness is not just for morning, okay? It can happen any time of the day, and it can last the entire pregnancy. But there are some things that you can do to actually help relieve the morning sickness. So, 
first thing that I recommend is eat early. Morning sickness and the nausea usually happens when you have an empty stomach. Especially because like you're sleeping all night, you don't eat, obviously. Unless you're like me, who gets up in the middle of the night and eats when I'm pregnant. I usually did that all the time, especially with him. Um, the other thing is, is someone recommended trying to use the Goldilocks rule, which is don't overfill your belly, don't overfill your belly, but don't let it get completely empty. Instead, keep your stomach a little bit filled all the time. And that was recommended to me by someone in a, one of the mom groups. And I guess for her, that worked. She wasn't completely over full, but she wasn't completely hungry either. So it helped keep the nausea at way. Booba, get down! Um, someone recommended keep, it, keep a little snacks and pouches on the go. Uh, so basically, if you go somewhere, take little Ziplocs put like little snacks in it and then use that and it should help because then you then you will have food no matter what you cannot use it like a sword all right so the other thing is um i have never personally used this but i have had someone recommend this in one of the groups and they said wear the c-band wristlets i guess they are one inch bands that put pressure on an acupressure point in your inner wrist. Boo boo, come here. And someone I recommend it. So, in one, one of my other videos, I will do, or the next of my videos, I will do um, based on pressure points. When you're pregnant, you have pressure points all over your body that'll help with different things. Apparently, in your wrist here, there is a pressure point probably on your wrist, like right below like right below here from my thumb here. That's what I'm betting. It's probably uh, recommend where the, um, he's talking about no rocks. Um, I'm guessing that's where the acupressure, the, the pressure point is and it'll help with the nausea. Um, someone else said, let's see, where is it? Um, they, they continue to say that they are widely available at drug and health food stores, so they are you don't have to get a prescription for them. Boo-boo. Boo-boo, get off the rocks. Grab your spoon. He likes spoons. And he likes rocks. But the problem is that he keeps trying to throw them over my, uh, my best friend's uh, balcony right there, which is kind of weird considering me and my best friend are neighbors, actually. It's kind of weird. Stop. Go play. Or chew on that. Um, someone else recommended taking your prenatal vitamins uh, whenever you are less likely to throw it up. That way, if you are having morning sickness and you are throwing up, you are get, still getting the vitamins you need. Come here. I really don't like when he goes into the door. Now, a few of the few of the foods that people recommend, and I even recommend for when you are having morning sickness. Uh, so bland, easy to digest foods like bananas, toast, rice, pretzels, and applesauce. Applesauce is gonna be best friend, okay? Boo boo. I I had applesauce and toast the entire time when I was pregnant with my first kid, okay, literally. Oh, hi, that was, my, that was, that was literally my best friend. Okay, I'm gonna extend this uh, selfie stick out a little bit more. Nope, maybe not. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna extend it out a little more. I'm gonna keep it right, right there. I like the selfie stick though, it is, it works really well. I should have done this with my first videos. Um, almond milk. I recommend that as well. It is completely vegan. You don't have to be vegan to have this milk, okay? Bubby. He's in a really talkative mood right now. Yeah, like I said, you don't have to be vegan to have almond milk, okay? But it is, unlike normal milk, 
almond milk is extremely gentle and light on your stomach. It'll really help. I can guarantee that it helped me wonders when I was pregnant. Even with him, it helped wonders. I had, everything was almond milk, everything. Like, I had my cereal with almond milk. I had almond milk just by itself. Um, I did almond milk chocolate, like chocolate almond milk. I absolutely love that. I still drink it. Uh, soups, smoothies, and shakes, which really not bad. Okay, soups. Uh, I did tomato soup when I was pregnant. That worked pretty good. Uh, shakes, I did really good because especially if you do real uh, fruit shakes, that works really well. Um, same as smoothies. Actually, both of them actually work well. It's real food. You blend it up. You turn it into a shake. You make a... Uh, um, Put a little milk in into it, and it works. It's it's wonderful. And uh, like, actually, when I was pregnant, I found out that drinking your vitamins, like apples, strawberries, bananas, was a lot easier than actually eating it. And especially during your first trimester, it is more important to get your vitamins than it is to just eat. So. Water-packed fruits and veggies. I never had this. Okay, I did not eat this when I was when I was pregnant. So I can't say personally. I can only read what someone else recommended. So they said, if foods make you queasier, try eating solids with high water content. Melons are often a good choice. I didn't have melons when I was pregnant, so I can't say again. But I do love melons, especially cantaloupe and watermelons. Those are my favorites. I would try. They are extremely, uh, well, they have a lot of food in them. Ugh. I love, I, I love watching those helicopters go off. We have a building right nearby us that has a complete helicopter landing, a helicopter pad, whatever, and they just come and go from here, so that's often we see them. Um, Okay, now this one I will recommend completely. Ginger. So, ginger has been proven to actually really help with nausea during pregnancy. It's been, it's been scientifically proven. Um, even just smelling it is actually really good for you. Like, fresh, smell fresh uh, ginger. Really good for you. I, I, I had this when I was pregnant too. Um, so like ginger snaps, ginger ale, ginger tea, ginger candies, ginger biscuits, or crystallized ginger. I had the ginger snap cookies. I had ginger ale. And I put like a ginger uh, seasoning in my food. And that... I didn't go anywhere without ginger, okay? That was literally my go-to thing, okay? Hi. Bubby. Hi. <laughs> He's just saying hi. hi. <laughs> he just said hi to everyone. He's fine saying hi. Um, citrus fruit. I have to agree to this too, okay? Um, the smell and taste of lemon or oranges are often really helpful when you're pregnant. Now, I didn't like eating lemon or oranges, but I did love the smell of it. Oh, actually, orange juice. I did drink orange juice when I was pregnant. Fresh squeezed orange juice. Peppermint. Anything peppermint. I don't know why, but peppermint has a real, well, mint in general. It has a really, it's kind of like ginger, but not at the same time. It's really subtle on the stomach. Um, Jello pudding yogurt. Really good for you. I had that a lot when I was pregnant. And then the last thing, as they said, is saltine crackers, which again, I recommend too, because I had that too. Um... I had one person message me, give me a do's and don'ts for when you're pregnant. So I'm gonna read that off real quick to you guys, and then um, I'll put, I'll go on continue to talk about experience-wise. So don't touch. You are orange. All right. So the do's: eat small meals, okay, throughout the day, multiple small meals. That's what I kind of did. You eat. You don't want to eat. Uh, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, big meals. Okay, don't do that. Uh, drink healthy fluids about half an hour, boo-boo. 
half an hour uh, before or after a meal, but not exactly with the meals. Boo boo, enough with the rocks. Put it down. What did I say? Boo boo. What did I say about rocks? You do not throw them. He's been throwing rocks. I'm gonna try and teach him not to. Um, drink plenty of healthy fluids, okay? Otherwise you're gonna get dehydrated. And uh, right now, during this period of time, you are going through a lot of changes. No. Your body's going through a lot of changes and you are going to get dehydrated faster. And not to mention to you, you are now eating for two. Well, the mom is. So whoever's pregnant is eating for two. So the baby's gonna be taking a lot of, well, anything that the baby needs, the vitamins, the nutrition, the water, the fluid, everything, the baby's gonna be taking it from you. So you need to keep yourself hydrated in order to keep providing for yourself and for the baby, which is why you're eating for two. Um, talk to your doctor about a magnesium uh, supplement. That is highly important when you're pregnant. Boo boo, away from the door. Uh, eat, don't eat saltine crackers about every 15 minutes, like before getting up in the morning. Or no, uh, sorry, I read that wrong. Eat some crackers 15 minutes before getting up in the morning. That doesn't make sense. <coughs> Unless you're just starting to wake up, like I can see that point. Uh, when you're starting to wake, when you actually start waking up, have like a little, a little thing of saltine crackers next to you. Come here, get down. When you have uh, saltine crackers next to your bed, try doing that and then, <laughs> then start your morning because the saltine crackers will actually help. It's the salt in it. The salt will actually help with the, the morning sickness. Um, let's see what else. Eat whatever you feel like eating whenever you can, okay? I did that all the time, okay? I would eat. Sometimes I would get up at like 2 o'clock in the morning and I would eat. Other times I was eating at like noon or 4 p.m. I, I eat at random times of the day, so. Ask someone else to cook for you and open the windows. So, or turn on the fans. That way you don't get nauseous. So, if there is something for sure that you know is uh, upsetting you, turn on the fan. Or have someone else cook for you. That way you're not getting too many nauseous. You're not su supplementing yourself to it. You're not... You, you get what I mean. You're not actually forcing yourself to deal with it yourself. You're having someone else help you out by taking care of it at the same time, too. Um, so... Get plenty of rest and nap during the day. I napped a lot, okay? And then I slept all night. Uh, avoid warm places. Hot, the feeling of the warmth usually adds to nausea, so it actually makes it worse. Um, sniff lemons, ginger, or ginger, or uh, drink lemonade or eat watermelon to relieve the nausea. Watermelon does help nausea, I had that too. And then of course, exercise. Just because you're pregnant does not mean you get to like, does not mean like flopping on the couch is gonna be a good thing, okay? Exercise is a very big thing when you're pregnant and it really does help with the nausea too, okay? So that's key. Uh, here's the don'ts now. Don't lie down after eating. Very bad for you, it make it, it's terrible. Don't skip meals. Not exactly deal. If you're hungry, eat. Okay, so when you're pregnant, there's technically no meals set. You just eat when you're hungry. But if you're hungry, eat. Don't just ignore and say, hey, oh, hey, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, not time for dinner yet, not time for lunch, whatever the case is. Uh, don't cook or cook. Or, or, I'm not saying don't cook. Like, um, Don't cook or eat spicy food, okay? Spicy food is not exactly good when you're pregnant. I mean, there are some pregnancies that I have have heard that do like spicy food, but most pregnancies I've heard and talked to you about, 
spicy food is not usually a good key factor. Um, do not eat excessive amount of sugar. Not exactly good for your body, not exactly good for you at the baby, and not exactly good for the pregnancy, okay? I would avoid as much sugar as you possibly can. Like, I, I didn't really eat a lot of sugar when I was pregnant. Uh, do not overdo it on the grains. So, that's also kind of bad for you. And doesn't exactly help with the pregnancy. It just makes you kind of feel bloated. So that is so far what I have from everyone in the uh, the groups, what I've researched online, and yeah, like I said, I'm hoping some of these things will actually really help you. But like I said, biggest thing you want to do is just eat. Okay, just stay hydrated. Eat whatever you can do to keep your, keep down keep down away from the door. My kid just really likes doors. I don't know why. He does the same thing in the apartment too. Um, you want to say hi? I gotta go wash him up soon because, like I said, if you see, his hand is orange. And so is his leg. Expecting parents? Good luck when this when your child hits this age. They are entertaining, but problematic. And he is chewing on a rock. I think I have a little bit of a. I think I have a. <laughs> don't touch me! Don't touch me! I mean, water work pants. I think I have a little flimstone on my hands. I think I'm gonna call you Dino. You're cute, though. Yeah. That's exactly what he did. He just, he just pushed his hair back and just like, he's just like, watch. Here, I'll, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> he does this, he does this such a cute little move. It's adorable. He just like, <laughs> it's a mo I'm so gonna make you a model, bubby boy. Okay, your hair goes this way. That's kind of how your hair goes. He's gonna be a model. He's gonna be a total heartbreak when he gets older. But not all of it goes that way. Oh my gosh, okay. Anyways, I need to start getting attracted. So, like I said, key factor, stay hydrated, take some lots of vitamins, um, get plenty of rest, if for some reason none of these are working, like literally none of these symptoms, are, like any of the things I suggested are actually working, can you stop trying to touch the selfie stick? And you are still having morning sickness, and, or it's uh, getting pretty bad to where you can't keep anything down, like not even water, then go to your doctor, okay? Because I'm not a doctor. I am not a health specialist. I am not any of that kind of things. I am just giving feedback and opinions and everything else. So don't quote me on any of this, okay? Don't go to your doctor and say, hey, well, she said this, this, this. Like, where'd you find that out, YouTube? Okay, I am not a doctor. I am not here to tell you what to do or what's going to work, okay? I am giving you guys suggestions, opinions, things that worked for other moms, things that worked for me, things that, uh, I have found online, okay, so I am not a professional here, okay, I am just a amateur YouTuber that is trying to help out expecting parents and current parents and people who are currently maybe looking at becoming a parent. So really don't want to get in trouble here for going telling you guys something and then it finds out you guys it actually doesn't work. Oh, my hand hurts. So, keep that in mind, guys. I will even put it into the description below that I am not a licensed doctor or anything, okay? Because, like I said, I'm not. My goal is, and strictly my only goal is here, is just to help you guys out by giving you guys what I found and what has worked for me. Like I said, for me, when I was first pregnant with my kid, with my son, I ate a lot of toast. 
Uh, I had ginger ale like everywhere. Um, I ate a lot of, I drank a lot of shakes. I took vitamins like crazy. And a lot of fruits. Boo boo, enough with the rocks. So that's worked for me. Some of these things have worked for other parents. What, work, what might work for you might not work for someone else. Um, what worked for this mom might not work for this mom, if you get what I'm saying. So keep in mind, like I'm saying, what I am posting here in the video it does not mean it is 100% guaranteed going to work for you. All I am saying is that it will. It's a recommendation for you to try and see if it works. And if it works, then great. If it doesn't work, then try something else. But if you are pregnant, that little baby is expecting nutrition from you to be able to survive and progress to being born. So whatever you put in your body is what's going to go to that little baby. And in order to help that baby grow, you need to help yourself. Baby, stop tearing up the freaking screen and trying to traumatize the cats. Yeah. So, yeah. go down the list. Yeah. I will, I, what yeah. I actually do is I will post yeah. what I... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't get you, but okay. I will post what yeah. I have in here. I will, I will post it into the description below in case that uh, you want to look up something specifically. Then you have my notes. You can actually uh, see what all I said. You can like start Googling things and trying going down the list and trying what will work for you. Like I said, just take it one day at a time. Try what you can. If something doesn't work, try something different the next day. And then... Bless you. Stay in contact with your doctor. Your doctor is going to be your best friend. So don't go from one doctor to another doctor. Stick with one doctor because that doctor might end up becoming the doctor that will give birth to your kid. And after you, after the kid's born, that doctor could be also uh, the same doctor that will help with actually taking care of your kid for the first year or so. So stick it out. It'll get better, hopefully. If not, I will uh, post more videos for in case it doesn't get better. Because with my morning sickness, it didn't get better. And I did a lot of other different things that actually helped. So, uh, like I said, good luck. Watch this video all the way through. Share it to other people who you think might be pregnant or are pregnant or wanting to get pregnant. And yeah, like I said, hit the like, subscribe button, share those people. Um, and that's 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 the episode or video for morning sickness. I will do something different next week for uh, expecting parents. Have a good one, guys.